What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three new Tottenham legends that have entered into eFootball 2023. So we're going to have a lot of a lot of videos with player reviews because they've added an absolute ton of player packs and club selections and then obviously you have the nominating contracts you have the legends the epics and whatever um i'm kind of a bit torn on these because obviously i would like to get robbie robbie Keane, the man the myth the legend that is robbie Keane, obviously being an irish uh beast but yeah i mean this this is uh this is a bit of a kind of a strange pack i would have liked him to see him to blow the doors off uh, especially with today with v2.1 and maybe have like kind of like a friend match lobby uh, campaign or something be able to get one of these legends or something like that because these aren't going to be i don't think like meta players but we will get into it and start with a couple of the reviews um, and let me know what you guys think because obviously you've got gaza van der vaart and keen uh, gaza and van der vaart are probably the bigger names um but i think you know robbie can be an unbelievable player as well so we are going to start with robbie and he does have 38 levels which is huge when you look at his card there he's on b form obviously as well and he does have standard form but that b rating is going to be able to get him up most often than not and he does have nice stats man i mean if you've got 38 levels here to go you're going to have a lot of progression points now eFootball DB the lads are updating it at the moment as far as I know there's literally been like what 200 players that need to be added so um there is a lot of a lot of new packs to be added and I know that they're working on a brand new overhaul of everything as well to make it a lot more seamless and easy to navigate with the UI and whatever um so make sure and check that out but yeah for Robbie here 38 levels he's got really really nice stats I would say x77 acceleration you're going to be able to get that up to 90 overall. I mean, that's kind of what you're going to be looking at there. Um, if you if you are looking at getting Robbie Keane or you do spin him, if you are spinning this pack looking for Gaza and you do end up getting Keane or you're looking for Keane and you get out Gaza, obviously it depends on what type of player that you want. But I do think that his player skills are very important as well. He's got a lot of nice player skills. First time shot, he's got captaincy, long range shooting, rising shot. But he's also got chip shot control, which is unusual because I would have said that Robbie was not the best kind of dribble uh, style player. He was more kind of like a run and gun, um, kind of reminded me of kind of like a poacher. As you see there, he is a goal poacher by trade and he is defined as a goal poacher in the game with his his player style. Uh, but th those 38 levels, man, I, I'm very happy with that. He's also got amazing run, speeding bullet and long ranger. So I think he could be a fun card to use because... I think when you start to upgrade his his card, right, you are going to probably get 90 balance, 90 acceleration, and then you're going to have a mix between, you know, maybe like high 80s with kick and power and speed, and then you'll be able to boost up his finishing. So I think that Robbie could be a viable option for leading the line up front, and especially if you are a fan of Robbie or any of the clubs that he played at, uh, which I would have been, obviously him being Irish. I would probably base a team around him if I do pack him. Now, whether I'll spin or not, I do have the free one here. We'll spin at the end of the video, but um, we will see. Moving on to Van der Vaart. Obviously, we will remember Van der Vaart as one of the best, most technically gifted players um, to ever grace Tottenham's starting eleven. I would say. Absolute baller of a player. I actually loved him growing up. I thought he was amazing. He's got that B form again. He does have unwavering form as well with the player rating uh, of B. So he is going to be up more often than not. And those player skills, again, really, really solid across the board. You've got all the shot um, player skills that you could want. Long range shooting, first time shot. But you've also got passing, one touch pass, true pass and weighted pass. This guy could be an absolute monster in the center of midfield. Would I play him AMF? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> I probably would play, depending on what where the gameplay is at right now, I would probably play him as maybe like a more attacking central midfielder rather than kind of like an out-and-out -out AMF because I just think that his speed and his acceleration are a little bit too, uh, too low. Even if you do boost him up, he does have 35 levels as you can see there. Even if you do boost up that acceleration, you're not going to get the speed above 70 with the acceleration above 80. You know, that's probably what you're going to probably have to max out at there. If you want to turn this guy in to, you know, an 85, 86 ball control dribbling and tight possession player. And then obviously have his low pass and lofted pass in the 90s or in the high 80s. Um, you are probably going to want to upgrade that. But yeah, I would definitely pump in maybe 12, 13 points into his speed. Get that up to about 70. Get his stamina up to about 80. 
get his acceleration up to about 78 and then you'll be talking about the rest of his stats will be low pass or whatever but i think the problem with a lot of these legends and stuff is that the big the big highlight for him is the b form that's the big highlight for him but I think that they all, you know, it's impossible. You're not going to give them like like special stats just because they're legends. You know what I mean? Maybe there should be a player skill or a player kind of like dynamic skill that you have for epic players that like the standard players don't have. But I think that they've just really focused on balance and everything this year. That's what I think they've done. That they've nearly kind of nerfed the epic cards compared to what they were with Pez 20. I mean, who 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 will who will ever forget Romanegi? Uh from Pez 2020 or Pez 2021 I mean he was just absolutely a goal a game and I think that like Romario Vieira Beckenbauer those guys are absolute tanks Makalele like they are game changers but I think for Van der Vaart here and the same with Robbie Keane there's a lot of other alternatives that you could get if you're just staying you know RTG um road to glory free to play kind of that you're not putting any money in so yeah I do think Van der Vaart is a good player if you do spin him definitely pump in a couple of trainer points and see uh, how he goes for you and then last but not least we have England's sweetheart Gascoigne well I presume he is still England's sweetheart he was a very 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 good player much loved um, in when he was playing in his playing days he was an unbelievable uh, shooter of the ball and again he's got some really nice stats he does have standard form as he doesn't have the unwavering one which is a bit of an issue with his card but other than that, I mean, you've got 35 levels. He's going to be on B form forevermore, being a legend card. And he's got really nice player skills as well. All the skills you could possibly want, as well as knuckle shot, long range curler, first time shot. And then he's got weighted pass and a mixture of, you know, individual skills like Marseille turn, cut behind and turn, heel trick, outside curler for shooting those uh, passes, zipping them around the pitch and for doing those finesse shots. I mean, outside curler with long range curler, if you are a good at finesse shots, you will be able to dominate uh, with those finesse shots that you're able to curl them around the place. So again, Gazgoin is listed here as an AMF as a classic number 10. Those 35 levels, you're going to be able to boost up his ball control, dribbling and tight possession as his dribbling stats and, it, and his offensive awareness and acceleration up into the high 80s. I would say 86, 87 maybe. And then your speed, I would probably top that out at 80 to bring his stamina up to like 84, 85. And then the rest is going to be up to you guys. I mean, uh, when eFootballDB is updated, I will do a slight uh, little look at this and I might post it up uh, in a future video. But yeah, I definitely think if you're looking at any of these guys, you are going to want to, you know, pick a position that you want him in and not make him a jack of all trades. I see a lot of people when they're updating players, they're like, oh, I'll just add five more to speed. Whereas if you're playing as an AMF and you know that you're going to be just a passer, you don't need to have speed. You know, if you don't need to just be an all-rounder, sometimes you have to pick your poison and sometimes you have to, you know, give him excellent stats in a couple of areas rather than, you know, general stats kind of jack of all trades. I would always advise when you're updating these players, or you're actually training these players is to take the stats that they're actually the highest in and just boost them up a little bit and then have one or two discrepancies such as his his speed here boost that speed up a little bit to make him kind of you know beyond himself so that is it for me lads with the tottenham hotspur epic players don't forget to check out eFootballDB.com. I'm going to spin this one here now. Watch us get Robbie Jobby Keen. Absolute beast if we do get him in our free spin. It will be epic. I can't hear the music, but hopefully, hopefully the drums are beating and the music is, saying, is singing for us. But let's see what happens. We do have English League. We do have three star. Nah, nah. Once it's not a goalkeeper, lads, I'm surprised. Oh, Jesus, Dawson. Oh, God above. Anyway, all right, lads, that is it. I hope that's not a, the start of my experience with V2.1. But anyway, we will talk to you in a bit, lads. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Going to be offering a lot of videos today. Trying to crack those 20,000 subs um, for a, a massive giveaway that we've organized. So yeah, we will talk to you in a bit, lads. Thanks for all the support so far. Let me know your thoughts so far on eFootball 2.1. And let me know if you guys would be interested in a match in the friend lobby as well. I'm accepting all challengers. So if you want it come and get it if you think you're hard enough but uh all right we'll talk to you in a bit boys